Katia V5. This will be regarding edge fillet. So this will be available under operations. Within my previous video, I discuss shape fillet, which is the first one. And now we're going to take a look at edge fillet. If you're going to check over here, we're going to see that this will create a fillet on a surface edge. We're going to see that this command can be also used on solid body, so it is not limited only to, let's say, surface modeling, but we're going to take a look at exactly how that will happen. So let's get started with the first case study. I'm going to start the edge fillet. And we're going to see within the command definition, by default, this should be like this. So we don't have the more section extended, but we can do that over here by clicking on the button over here. Now, in this case, we can either select directly the edge. In this case, this will be the edge between those two surfaces. We can define the radius. If I will click preview, we're going to see the result of that. We have the same settings over here, just like within um, Shape Fillet, which is also available on my channel, the previous video. We can have that either smooth or straight. Or we can choose to go for a maximum, and if in this case I will leave it to 5 mm, we're going to see that the output surface will be like this. So since this is set to maximum, we're going to have that length over here added from the top surface. So I will just click OK so we can better visualize the resulting edge fillet will look like this. And if I will go with smooth in this case, this will be the resulting surface. So as you can see, this surface is not in a plane, it is um, at an angle. We can also go over here with minimum. And with minimum, this will be the result. We're going to see also warning. So the fillet operator, some unfilled edges remain in resulting body. Check the geometry. So as we can see in this case, we're going to have this section over here, which can also prove to be problematic in some cases. If I will go with smooth, we can also change this from radius to shorter over here. So as you can see, this will be by length. So with 5 mm as quarter length, if I will click OK, we're going to see that the output mesh will look like this. The command will also have the following icon over here, as we can see, for edge fillet. If I will copy this, paste it as a result, this will be the surface. So I'm just going to rename this as shorter, 5 millimeters. I will delete that edge. The surface will remain over here. I'm going to change the color, for example, to green. And let me redo the same edge fillet over here, in this case with a radius of 5, and we're going to see that this will be the difference between those two. So we see the surface in green will be with a shorter of 5 millimeters, and over here we're going to have the edge fillet with a radius of 5 millimeters. Let's see, some additional settings that can be added. We have over here the propagation which will be either tangency or minimal. In this case, that wouldn't change since the geometry doesn't make use of those tangencies. We can also add a variable fillet over here. For example, if I will switch to that, I will select this. We're going to see that this will activate over here. So this is a, has the a icon of a, of a wrench over here. I can select it and we're going to have those two endpoints added over here. We can change the value. For example, I want the first one to be 1 and the last one to be 10. If I will click OK, I will click Preview. We're now going to see that variable fillet. So over here, we're going to have it set to 1, and it will increase all the way up to 10. We also see the edge fillet icon over here will be different uh, as previously. We can also add additional points if you want to. We can go over here on points, right-click, create a point. 
And afterwards, we can either select it directly within the viewport, for example, like this. And afterwards, I'm going to receive this length, which I can add a numeric value. For example, I can add 50, I can press enter. And we're going to have that point added over here. And with that added, I can go over here and change that. For example, I want it over here to be 15. If I will click OK, I have hit preview. We're going to see that now the fillet will go like this. So from um, 1 all the way up to 15 over here and then back to 10. If I'm going to change this, for example, 5 and uh, later to 1, we're going to see how that will be different. So using this command, you have a lot of control on your edge fillets. This is why this recommended also for solid bodies. You can have those um, work with edge fillets so you can better define the um, desired edges. Now, let's see some other changes over here. We can also I will go back to constant because this will be better to display the visualization for this. And uh, let's take a look over here at the parameter, which is the conic parameter. So this by default will have a value of 0 0.5. And this will result that um, the resulting curve will be a parabola over here. If you're going to go with something between uh, 0 and 0 0.5, this will have a different shape. It will be in the shape of an arc, of an ellipse. So for example, if I will change this to 0 0.1, we're going to see that um, that ellipse profile for the fillet. So we can make use of that. Or if you're going to go for a value between 0 0.5 and 1, 1 will be the maximum in this case, for example, 0 0.7, we're going to see that this shape will um, be a hyperbola over here. So, and if I will go with a value of 0 0.95, the result will look like this. So this will still have the radius set to 5, but since we changed that conic parameter, it will heavily influence this. So by default, this will be 0 0.5, and this should keep the, um, let's say the default radius. There are also some settings regarding over here we can uh, trim the ribbons. So if I will click on that. For this uh, shape, this will not influence, but we're going to see that the trim ribbon and over here, if I'm going to change the tangency, we can also do some selection onto the other section. We can also choose not to have the support trimmed. And in this case, we're going to see that the edge fillet will be this one. So we only have the edge fillet as a resulting surface, and we're still going to have the previous joint surface over here, which um, has been created from those two extruded sections. If you're going to choose to trim the support, this will actually just trim those, but they will still be over here present, but they will be hidden. So we see over here the join. I will and hide that, it will appear like that. If I will just delete that, the edge fillet, we're going to see that also the color of the joint will go back to the one that um, we can define over here. But once we define this um, with edge fillet, this will go and have the yellow color, which is a default for surface, and that can also be changed within, um, within the settings. Now, we can also do some limiting for the fillet. For example, if I will go over here, we're going to see the limiting element. So we can either select the edge directly, but I can also select two faces. And in this case, I can just select on one face and Katia will automatically understand that the radius will be added over here. And we can use the elements from uh, over here where we have the extended settings. We can define limiting element, and as you can see, we can have more than one over here. And the limiting element can be either another surface, like in this case. As you can see, I added extrude 4 over here, and we're going to have that arrow indicating a direction. If I will click preview, we're going to see that 
only that section will be uh, filleted over here. And we're still going to have this extrude appearing and this one. So we can hide those and this will be the result. Or I can swap direction of that and that will give us the following fillet over here. And now uh, we can add more limiting elements. So we deselected. I can also add, for example, a plane over here. You're going to see that now we're going to have two elements. And depending on the orientation of those arrows, we can specify exactly what we want like this we're just going to have that added in the middle and now uh, with this pointing outwards we're going to set in this case we're going to have um, an, an error over here if i will swap both of those to be backwards this will be the result so uh, the inner section will not be filleted but those other two will be so in the direction of those arrows we're going to take a look at um, blend corners and also edges to keep. But for that, uh, I'm going to open a different case study, which will be easier to showcase. If I will go over here on case study 2 part, this will be that. So if I will go with edge fillet and I will select this edge over here, with a radius of 10, we're going to see the preview over here over here if i will just click ok this will be the result but if i will go with a larger value for example 50 we're gonna see that this cannot um initialize the operation as we can see so if i will click ok the problem is that that fillet is too large and um, we need to go for a smaller value if i will go for example with 45 Let's see how that will work. So, 45. We're going to see that again with 45, it won't do the fillet. But we have this option over here, enable, so edges to keep. If I will select this and I want to keep that edge as well, if I will click, click preview. We're going to see that if initially Katea didn't want to add that edge fillet, now since I specify that I want to keep that edge, this will be doable and we see the resulting edge fillet over here. Again, this will be a surface that is not a um, planner, as you can see over here, which is slightly um, aligned at an angle. We can also add limiting elements just like we saw previously, but um, let's see over here this um, blend corner option. As we can see over here on the variation, this will be the icons. Since Katia understands that these are surfaces, they will be added surfaces um, icons. So this will be the constant edge fillet over here. As we can see it, if I will go with variable, it will go with that over here. Now, if I will use this is subdivision. So this was created using imagine and shape. That means I can uh, move it around. I can scale it and so on. But I can also work with edge fillet on this. So if I will select this, let's see the radius, I will add this to be 20. Over here, I will specify the edges. So I want to do a fillet at this intersection of those three elements. If I will just hit preview, this will be the output. If I will also click OK, this will be the result. So Katia will convert the imaginary shape element into a surface element and it will have the name of the edge fillet in this case, as we can see over here. And uh, we're going to have the value over here added within the tree, so I can uh, easily change it over here if I want to. Now, if I will go and also add over here the blend corner section, so again I will redo the same over here. But I want to blend corners. So over here, as you can see, we have a no, no selection. But I can right click and I can create this either by edges or vertex. So we're going to see that the following values will appear over here. So in this case, we have the distance of 10. If I will change this and I will go all the way to 25, let's take a look at what will happen. 
if I will click OK, in this case preview, and now OK, this will be the resulting surface. And as we can see, we have this added section over here. If I will make the radius smaller, like for example 10, this will be more uh, pronounced over here. If I will go with a value of 2, we're going to see that the blended corner will look like this. We also see over here the variation and the icon. Again, we have the same uh, icons over here added. But before adding this edge, since this subdivision, if I will just do a section over here, we're going to see that um, this will not have any material inside. So we only have the outer shell of this box. But if I will also close this using the closed surface, I want this subdivision to be closed. If I will hide this now, underneath it, we're going to have the closed surface. If I will go within a section, we're going to see that we have material on the inside. And now if I will redo the same edge fillet, when I do the selection, we're going to see that the variation icons will change over here. So as soon as I click on this one, we have the new icon. So this will be for solid bodies. We see the one for constant and for variable fillet. And I, again, I can do that limiting elements by uh, selecting a vertex over here. Uh, the blending corners. So I will add that. I will click OK. And this will be the result. Over here within a tree, it will act the same. So we can just change the radius. But we're going to see that it will have a different icon since the fillet has now been applied to a solid body. So we also have the possibility, in this case, um, let's see, most of the things over here have already been discussed. For example, if I will select that I want to um, do an edge fillet over here with a radius of 5, this will be the output. This will be with tangency propagation. If I will go with minimal, they will be like this. So we see over here, we're going to have that, that uh, weird edge. If I will go with tangency, it will be perfectly rounded over here. So we see that, um, that difference. With minimal and with tangency, we're going to have that different output over here. So this will be pointy and the other one will be rounded up. Okay, and some other elements regarding uh, edge fillet. I prepared over here the case study tree where we have some um, extruded surfaces. We also are going to have a multi-section over here, as you can see it. And uh, this will be regarding the overlap when we add an edge fillet. So for example, if I will start edge fillet over here, I want it to be added over here. As you can see, this will be directly on trim 2. If I will hit preview, you're going to see with a radius of 2, there won't be any overlap. But if I will make this, for example, 10, if I will click OK. In this case, it will have some problems over here on the edges. Let's go with a value of 8. And a value of 8 will work. But as we can see over here, we have another warning. So the system implement, uh, implements a solution for computing the fillet. Check if the results obtained is um, OK. So in this case, this will be the output. We can change the overlap over here so we won't have this cutout. But for that, we need to select Dream Ribbon over here. If I will click OK, you're going to see that this will no longer have that section cut over there. So keep in mind that this is also a viable um, change that you can do in order to better control um, your fillets, especially like this when they are overlapping. Okay, so overall edge fillet is a very powerful tool and keep in mind that you can also apply it on part design elements because um, let's see if I will swap this now to part design I will create over here 
I will do something uh, simple, so just uh, just a rectangle, and I will have this padded. We're gonna have the default fillet over here, as we can see it, and it will have the similar interface like uh, like the one from Edge Fillet. If I will click over here, we're gonna see that they will have different icons over here. If I will just click OK, this fillet will have the following icon over here, as we can see it. Since this was added um, in part body, was added over here. And will be the standard fillet but the functionality over here we're gonna see that is quite similar we don't have the section that i previously presented where we can uh, we can trim the supports we can also trim uh, trim the ribbon only over here but within the other edge we can also trim the supports because that's uh, the main advantage of surface design is to give us some um, better control for that Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this kind of content. If you enjoyed this uh, series regarding generative shape design, you can find uh, individual video for each of the, the commands. So all the operations over here have been already presented. The same for boundary and extraction. And my following video will be regarding styling fillet. So I will position a similar video over here on the left side and the subscribe button to the right. So let me know in the comment section if you enjoy this kind of content and that will make me create more uh, similar videos. So that's it. Thanks for watching.